Welcome back for another video on the best YouTube channel ever. Today's video will be about the gangster profile of a man named Richard Valeda. Richard was a Serrano from Costa Mesa on August 21st, 2017. When Richard was only 28, Richard was shot and killed in the 800 block of East Culver Avenue in Orange. A neighbor said she heard a series of bangs that she thought were fireworks, then saw a black SUV driving away. Valeda had been shot in the back seven times, and police found shell casings from two different guns at the scene, including a 357. This is how Richard's killers would be caught, with the help of surreptitiously recorded phone calls, as well as cell phone texts and location pings, indicating three gang members from Little Hood 13, Anaheim Jeffrey Street 13, and Garden Grove were together with Richard the night he was killed. The killers were identified as Kevin Minor Treo, James Buck Mendez, and Mike Risky Escobar. Prosecutors pointed to a text they said Escobar sent to Richard's girlfriend soon before the murder, luring him to his death. Hey D, let P know to get at me, the text read. D referred to Valeda's girlfriend and P to Valeda's nickname, Pedro. Escobar was driving the black Jeep Cherokee that was captured by surveillance video pulling into an alley near Valeda's home in Anaheim just before midnight. Here, Escobar texted Valeda in a text he sent soon before his murder. Minutes later, Valeda told his girlfriend that he was in a car with Buck, meaning Mendez. Prosecutors said Treo took a 357 from an acquaintance before the shooting and afterward asked the acquaintance, a gunsmith, to change the barrel. Jurors could reasonably conclude that Treo was in possession of one of the guns involved in the shooting. The SUV, which had been stolen from the AV's rental car agency at John Wayne Airport, was later found abandoned in Tijuana. The plot twist is that the three Orange County gang members had no personal beef with Richard Valeda. So why was Richard killed if his killers killed him? Simple, the motive was Mexican Mafia business. Being a drug dealer, Richard came up short by a few thousand dollars. And when the Mexican Mafia boss for Orange County, Johnny Martinez, did not receive the cut of proceeds that Richard was supposed to send Johnny, it was at that moment Richard messed up. Martinez authorized his murder from a cell phone in prison, relying on foot soldiers who were eager to improve their status in the gang. Johnny Martinez himself is also in jail after being a part of a Mexican mafia conspiracy that was revealed last year. As for Kevin Minor Trejo, James Buck Mendez, and Mike Risky Escobar, they were all convicted last Friday for their roles in Richard's killing. Trejo, Mendez, and Escobar faced life in prison when they returned to court on March 25, 2024 to receive their prison sentences, and I will update you as soon as they become available.